Welcome back to my Lego vlog. This video is gonna be a follow-up on a series of videos that I did a while back. And if you've been following me for a very long time, you probably remember this book. This is the Lego Build-A-Book More Amazing Vehicles. And this is a really cool book. I'll assume that you don't know anything about it. This book allows you to build 10 models, and I did videos on every one of these, using pieces from this set right here. This is Lego Creator Set 5867 Super Speedster. This is a great set by itself with the three builds, and I did all of these, but someone went ahead and uh, I guess the guy is, I, don't, I can't even say his name, but maybe I can put it on you right there. However you say that guy's name, he went ahead and he designed these 10 models and I did videos on every one of these. So I was actually able to build 13 models using this 278 piece set. You got the three from this and the 10 from this. And the really neat thing is that this is a second edition to his first book, which I have the digital version. This is on my iPad. This is the Lego Build-A-Book Amazing Vehicles. And they, you can do, I believe it's uh, 10 models of this as well. And I wanted to start sharing some of these with you one by one. So that's what we'll do today. Before I show you my first build from this, I'll show you the book, and I'm starting to realize there's really no good way to show a digital book on camera, but this is the cover. Obviously, it's the more amazing vehicles, and I don't know if this will allow me to flip through or how quickly this is gonna be. There I am in the background. There we go, that's what I'm trying to show you. These are the 10 builds, and I'll take you through each of these. First one is the off-roader, and I'll just spoil it. That's the one that I built first, because I really love that. It's like a Jeep. And then you have go-kart, which you've been seeing a little bit of on my channel lately. Number three is muscle car. Number four is stroller, which would uh, probably be appropriate for me because I have a one-year-old. You might hear him in the background every now and then on my videos. Eventually, he's going to be in these, I'm, I'm assuming, and uh, we're going to be getting some Duplo here for him shortly. Multi-purpose truck, number five. Then we go up to number six. We got the historic racer, sort of like an old race car. This one I really like, number seven, which is the classic car. Eight is wheel loader. Nine is the street rod, and 10 is rescue truck. And these are pretty complex builds. It takes a while to build these, so I won't be doing them any live builds. I might be doing a little fun stuff for you in each of the videos, but I'm gonna show you some of my favorites from this. Maybe I'll do them all, who knows? But let's start today with this one right here. This is the off-roader. Before I show you the completed model, I'll take you through the stats on this thing. The off-roader is a zero out of three for complexity, one out of three for functions, and two out of three for pieces. There's a look at the front of it. And here's some more detail. I won't go through this too much because we're gonna be taking a look at the real thing. But the off-roader, if it wants to focus here, says design notes, wide wheelbase, high clearance, exposed shock absorbers, front bumper winch spotlights, and that shows the dimensions and all that stuff. Features hinged hood, um, V4 engine, rear accessory clips. So now let's take a look at this beast. And finally, after all that introduction, here is the model. This is the off-roader. Let's just admit it, this thing's a Jeep. It's got no doors on the side. It's kind of got the, the front end like with no fenders like you would have on a Jeep. As it mentioned in there, the hood opens, although not very easily and not very far. There we go. That's about as far as it gets. You can see the engine in there. So this has got a lot more detail than what you'd find on a typical Lego model. And the steps, which I have behind here, that piece is already breaking off. The steps behind here, they're, they're actually fairly complex. You're putting a lot of pieces on at the same time, so you kind of really got to be careful. It's got the somewhat off-road tires. These tires are the same ones that are used for the, the Ferrari or whatever the car's supposed to be in, in this, this set. So they're, they're nothing too rugged, but they work. You got shock absorbers inside there that you can see, a little step-up bar on the side. Here's a look at the back. Just typical tail lights on there. A little bit of a bumper. You got some spot in the back here. No, no seats in the back, but if you go around to the front here, you got blue seats. Every one of these models has blue seats because that's what came with the set. Steering wheel inside. Doing my best to kind of show this to you. You got the off-road lights up here. The windshield, no windshield inside here, but you can move that around like you would with a Jeep. I think Jeeps, they typically come down and hit the hood. In this case, they're kind of it's kind of just sitting there. It's got the front end that looks like maybe like a 1980s Jeep there with the square headlights where they kind of went through that phase for a while on the Wranglers. And uh, it's got the grill like that. This is supposed to be the winch. Um, I'll give them that, I guess. It's nothing too amazing, but it works. Bumper down here, turn signal lights. Let me know what you think about this. I, I'm thinking that they, they modeled it after Jeep. They I have, Obviously, they can't use that trademark, so they're just calling it the off-roader. But I think it works pretty well. Obviously, it rolls. It's a pretty big model, and uh, it's it, you could put minifigures in here. They wouldn't look right because this thing, I, I mean, in terms of scale, would just be huge for a minifigure. But man, that is that's a nice model. And to think about this set, 
or th this book, how they give you 10 of these builds when I've already built 10 and I built the three original ones. It's crazy, 23 builds from a less than $300 or 300 piece set, insane. So I just wanted to share this with you. I'm gonna be sharing more of these with you in the future. Let me know what you think. Do you wanna see some of these? I thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.